on guys so today we're going to work on getting the engine management done on the Fox um, you might I might have mentioned in the past couple of videos that uh, um, we're moving away from the stock ECU uh, so this is the kit I decided to go with uh, there's a guy from our Fox Body Club thought this would be a good option to go with versus like Mega Squirt and uh, plus this, the really attracted me to this was the price so I got this kit from EFISource.com uh, pretty much everything you see right here came with the kit uh, $475 well 488 including shipping um, you get all this, you get the ECU, you get the map sensor, uh, the wiring so you can plug it right into the harness and this goes into the new micro squirt and you get the serial cable for the tuning option. So it came with all this for $475. Uh, you get to eliminate the MAF and the stock uh, O2 sensors. Um, we're going to be running, going to be using the uh, this, the uh, the wide band I have in the car. So we're going to wire that up. And uh, this is pretty much going to be a pretty easy install. Um, came with instructions to install and everything. got those so I already got the stock ECU out already it's already gone um, we're pretty much ready to just throw this in uh, first I'm gonna do is so we got the new uh, map sensor here it's gonna replace the BAP sensor or BAP sensor uh, got a new pigtail on it we're gonna use uh, we're gonna cut the old one off and we're gonna solder the new one in all right, so I had to go out to the room and get it, but this is the old sensor that was on the car. Like I said, there's no vacuum to it. I uh, just got the, the plug in, but we're gonna replace that. So we will not be using this anymore. All right, so this is where the old sensor was. Just bolted up here on the firewall. We're going to put ours, our new one, uh, in the same location. I have to get some longer screws. But we're going to put it right there in the same location. And here's the old wiring. Um, there's a diagram here on the back of the, uh, the sensor. I'll tell you which wire is what. And it's also on the instructions that came with the the kit because it varied between uh, the years on these cars uh, on the color and the wiring so I'll show that as well but what we're going to do is we're going to cut this old guy off and solder the new one on alright so here what I'm talking about on the uh, MAF sensor uh, yeah, you see a or CBA and see here it's got the years so on my car we'll be using the 86 to 90 got the orange and white light green and black and black and white we'll see that is stated true on my car since it's sometimes a little special alright so orange and white I'm assuming it's going to be this one. I don't see no white on it. But this wiring is a little old. Uh, we got green. With a black line on it. I see sort of a black line. And a black wire with a white line. There's a black and a white. There's a black wire and a white line. So just want to make sure this is correct on the wiring. Alright guys. So we got the sensor installed onto the firewall. Some of y'all might say it's a little too high, but still below the top here. Um, 
But we'll see once we get the hood on. If we need to move, we need to move it. So we got all the wires uh, all uh, soldered up. Let's do a little rundown. Mine is an 88. So this wiring goes from 86 to 90. And on the diagram, they got this C, B, A. So on the C, this wire should be into a orange and white wire, which it is. B, uh, your red wire should go right into the light green and black, which is correct. And you got your black wire here, which would be A, going to the black wire with the white line. So, they're all good. Uh, now we're just going to uh, get my little heat torch here. We're just going to uh, shrink these tubes up and we'll be done with this. Alright, so I'm inside of the car. Um, I've already put it on already. The harness. But, uh, here's the stock harness and here's the new harness goes to the micro squirt. Uh, just goes on just like you put on the stock ECU. Uh, this this harness connector only goes on one way, so you can't mess it up. Then you got your uh, bolt here, and just use it to tighten it down. Now you probably notice here it's got a few extra wires. Um, this is going to be for uh, there's a, a serial cable that plugs in or plugs into this. That's what we're using the tune. Plugs into a laptop or any other type of computer. Um, then you got some other wires here. Um, they're labeled on the wire, so it's pretty cool. So this yellow wire here is for fan. And you got a green wire here. It's probably for not 100% sure. Like I said, it says it I'm on. It says it on it. Well, this one's for tech, and I know this pink wire is for O2. You see, it says O2 there. So we're gonna be using this this wire for uh, plugging in our O2 sensor or our wide band. Uh, since we're not using the stock O2s or MAF, so we'll be using the wide band on this car. So the rest of these wires we won't be using. I do have a tag bus plug into my MSD here. So no need for that, for this wire. So the only wire we really need here is this pink color wire, pinkish red, and it says O2 on it. So I'm just gonna grab the, mega, the micro squirt and uh, I'm gonna see where we can, where we can put it at. Uh, it has some mounting points on it. Not a whole lot of light in here. There we go. Let's see where we can put this bad boy at. Alright, so we got our micro score here. Uh, we're just gonna plug it in and uh, see what type of room we have here and get the general best location to mount this guy. So, got our plug here. Uh, Looks like it only goes on one way. It's hard to tell with the, with the lighting in here. But it looks like, well, here's the clip, so. Go on something like that. It should click. Right. That's it. Oh, now we just gotta find a uh, place to, to put it Like keep it in a stock location um, You can see here I got the This the serial wire up to the The uh, glove box here a over And in so uh, now we're just trying to just try to find a place to put this ECU or micro squirt and we can call it done uh, then we'll we gotta work on getting the old two sensor wire hooked up all 
right guys so just out of here on the car um, here I got the uh, gauge pod taken out and it's looking over wiring here and I uh, had to do some research how to find what wires I need to plug into my micro squirt so I finally found them for some reason I was thinking it was up here by the uh, the gauge because I had an output for some reason I was thinking that was it but it's actually these two wires right here it's got a brown wire and a yellow wire so I'm using the yellow wire so it's got a, a wider range on it so I already got it soldered up and got some shrink tube on it and I pretty much just ran it all the way across So I got that done. Um, pretty much ready to stick this pod back in. Uh, stick my speaker cover back on. Uh, put the kicker panel back on, and we can be done with that. All right, down here by the ECU, you see I got my red wire here, and it's going right into the pinkish wire onto the harness for the micro squirt. And I got that solder as well. I got the shrink tube on it. And the this was this for the Y band of two, so you got the yellow and green wire there. We won't be using those, so I got them taped off, and that's pretty much done. We're ready to just throw uh, push all the wiring back and throw the kick panel back on. All right, guys. All right, so it's another day, and I uh, just want to finish up this video on the the micro squirt. Um, one thing I did was I flopped this around so it looks a lot better that way. A little more clearance here on top. And I got the vacuum line on. It's all wired up. Ready to roll. So I want to finish up the video on the micro squirt. Um, it's pretty much it's done. It's completely installed. Um, won't be able to do any, anything else with it till we get the rest of the motor done. And uh, then we can figure out uh, how to start tuning on it. But like I said, I just want to fin finish up on the video on the micro squirt. Um, it's it's pretty much it's done. And uh, I don't know. Once we get the motor all put together, and uh, we'll get started on it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We're getting very close to getting this motor started. But uh, until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later.